Hi, my name is Roger Schluter. Uh, this video is about the RMA, um, and the RMA has some has some products that can help you do projections. Uh, RMA stands for Risk Management Association, and they put out a booklet called Annual Statement Studies. Um, anyway, there's a, it's a it's a two books paperback set, and uh, the publication takes a large number of company financials in many industries and it compiles that information into a new financial statement or of the financial statements into usable information for us. Um, the information is, is really given as a percentage of sales for what the part we're looking at. Um, the book does not give sales figures so you're going to have to come up with your own sales and that and that kind of depends on you know a lot of things um, you know all sales in this booklet are a hundred percent and then the expenses are given as a percentage of that hundred percent so anyway the information for our purposes um, is great for expense and net income but they're given as a percentage of sales so you still have to project your own sales numbers um, sales should have assumptions on how you came up with those sales figures and a lot of people forget this they just dream up a, a sales number or, or come up with one that sounds good but you really have to have backing on how you come up with that sales number I mean is that a is that a percent of people in the area that could use your product um, is it is it with your experience uh, because maybe you've you've worked at a company like this before does that um, you know does does a figure make sense in this population that you're in um, so anyway um, I'm actually projecting the RMA um, page for convenience stores with gas stations <laughs> hopefully behind me but I'm not sure if that'll if that'll work out real good so anyway we're gonna we're gonna see how it works um, you know uh, so um, I, I will talk about the information um, you know that is set up as well as you know the information on each page and how it can be used so anyway um, hopefully this this, <laughs> this this page is behind me so anyway at the very top of the page you'll see you know um, you want to really look at the right side of the page and you'll see current data sorted by sales um, so anyway um, they, they actually give you the number of financial statements and then they give you the, the range of the sales of those statements. So it always starts out with one to a million usually, um, you know, or zero to one million in sales. And then in this, in this example, this is uh, gasoline stations with convenience stores. And I think a lot of times I'll, I say it the opposite. I say convenience stores with gas. So anyway, the, um, you know, they had 27 you know uh, statements and um, and they were all between zero and one million um, and then it goes from that's on the left side when you're looking at this under current data sorted by sales and then it goes to the right it goes one to three million and then three to five million and then five to ten ten to twenty five twenty five and over so anyway um, as you actually there's quite a few that are in the one to three million and there's also quite a few that are in the 25 and over, 25 million and over. So anyway, then you, you come down, there's a part that says, that really talks about the assets. Um, so anyway, the, the assets, and then there's a part that talks about the liabilities. And these are the same thing. They're gonna have total assets, total liabilities will be 100%. And then these different things in assets, like cash or whatever, are gonna be percentages of that you know, of that 100%. So those are a little bit, you know, when you're talking about assets and that, you, you I, I, the best way to do that, if you watch my, my thing on projections, I really show you how to do that. But uh, that is usually using your actual assets and liabilities on day one um, after you get the loan or whatever and, and how those are and using them that way. So anyway, income data is a little different. Um, once we have our sales figured, then we're going to come down here where it says income data, and that's actual after liabilities. And then they're going to say net sales, and all these net sales are going to be 
Um, and then under that, they're going to have gross profit. So uh, actually, your, your sales minus your, your cost of goods sold gives you your gross product. So from there, we can see that our, 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 our uh, cost of goods sold are probably around 68%. Um, so anyway, but with with their um, with their gross profit being 32 percent. So anyway, we know what the cost of goods sold should be, at least in these companies for a small company. Um, and then it and then it comes down to operating expenses, 29 percent, um, and then operating profit, uh, three percent, and then all other expenses net would be like a point. 0.3%, which wouldn't be much. And then profit before taxes they have here at 2.8%. Um, and that's really how you use those. Once you have your sales, you can plug in those, those percentages and actually say they came from this RMA annual statement studies. And, and they are believable, those expenses. A lot of times, a lot of the expenses will just be what they are. I mean, your rent and, and whatever could be just what it is. Uh, cost of goods sold could be that too, but if you're going into a business that you haven't, that you don't know that well, this is this is confirmation of those numbers. Um, I do a lot of loans in the Midwest, and usually when we look at this, we're usually lower than those because I'm doing a lot of stuff in rural areas. So we're usually the the actual numbers are actually lower. The expenses are lower than than a lot of these RMA studies are. So anyway, it makes, makes it look good. Um, so anyway, after that, you're going to come up with ratios. And they give a ton of ratios. And, and in the ratios, they actually have quartiles. And, and they do it to split it up into, into different sections, the highest section, the middle section, the lowest section. So, so anyway, um, you would actually have, and let's look on the ratios, let's look at the current ratio. And using the current ratio on this one, um, the, the best would be 9.4, and that would be a high current ratio. Um, and then the middle would be actually a 4.3, and then the lowest would be 1.0. Um, anybody who's familiar with these kind of knows that actually the 1.0 is actually the norm for almost all businesses. Um, so anyway, when you're getting up around four or nine in current ratio, that's that's really good. Um, and then your quick ratio is a is an abbreviation of that current. Um, it just really uses cash and accounts receivable. It takes away inventory out of there. So anyway, in quick, then it's the, the top is 5.8, which is really really high for quick ratio. The middle is two, and the and the bottom is a is a 0 0.4 which is probably for a bottom is more realistic because usually you say quick ratio should at least be one. Usually current ratio should be one or two, usually probably two. So anyway, um, that's, the, that's the current ratio, quick ratio, and then they give sales to receivables, they give cost of sales to inventory, they give sales to working capital, um, and then down lower you'll see, you know, debt to worth, um, you know, percent, uh, let's see, you know, all sorts of stuff. And, and I tell you what, most of these banks don't even use. So, you know, you're better off just using kind of the, maybe the current ratio, quick ratio, um, uh, maybe sales to receivables, maybe um, uh, sales to working capital. And, and, then, and then doing your, your income, you know, your actual income expenses. But a lot of these, you can, you can use the, the RMA statement um, annual statement studies to go ahead and reinforce your data or to show that your data is good and that and that you should make money um, utilizing this so anyway that's it's a very short video I'm sorry but um, if you like this kind of content because this does help you do those projections um, which and, and helps you substantiate those projections so if you like this kind of content, I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit the bell notification for future videos. And if you take something away, I hope you hit the like button. Um, you know, if you if you actually going to use this to to do your projections when you when you get a business loan. So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Roger Schleter, and I will see you in the next video.